Alright, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Riku the Best. Better than the rest, aka Dark Knight. You're gonna be that race. Ha! Alright, coming at you with a different video today. It's Dokkan related, of course, but it's uh basically speculation on what I believe the super physical leads, 120% leads could be for JP and Dokkan. So I guess it is JP and Dokkan instead of global. Whatever. Alright, so I've made two cards yesterday, two cards, two possibilities of a super god lead. We're going to start off with the first one being, who should I show off first, who should I show off first? This one is least likely to become a god lead, well, they're, they both are I would say and I'll explain that in a second. The first one we're going to look at is Super Saiyan 3 Adult Gotenks. The reason I say he is the least likely to become a god lead is because he's still a Dragon Ball Fusions character. I don't want to have a guy lead to where you would need a permission, you know, license for this guy to even be used in the game. Of course, we did get the relay event. Leader skill. Let, let's go over the stats and we're, we're going to make our way down, alright? So, Ascended Prodigy. That sounds pretty sick, doesn't it? Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Adult, so you couldn't infuse the tech version into him to increase his super attack or anything like that because it has to be Adult and Super Saiyan 3. It has to be that same name. 10,100 base HP. I wanted to give him the lowest HP out of the guy leads. Adult Go takes the Super Saiyan version. His highest stat is his HP. And the guy takes the Super Saiyan 3, the former guy lead, 100, uh, the 70% lead. His highest stat was also his HP. His highest base stat was also his HP. But he had an insane attack increase with the 11 key super. So, yeah, I kind of want to give this one the same gimmick or a similar gimmick. I gave him, uh, I believe he's the second highest base attack, second or first, I'm actually checking right now. He actually has the third highest base attack being two points under Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And, but he has the highest base defense out of all the 120% guy leads. I think Vegeta was around 5400 and no one pretty much topped him. But I gave him a highest base defense because Gotenks in general has a high base defense, even the Super Saiyan 3 version the 70% lead his base defense was like 5,000 you know that's actually very high because starting off a lot of units didn't have defense that high it would be around low 4,000s or high 3,000s Gotenks had 5,000 base defense so I wanted to give him the edge give him the highest base defense out of the guys that doesn't mean he tanks better or anything but if he's 100% that may make a difference I haven't decided stats for the potential Okay, so super physical type key plus three. Why are you doing that? HP attack and defense obviously 120%, and of course, the extreme physical gets 50% boost in all the stats, of course. But I did change his super attack a little bit. I gave him one super attack at this time instead of three super attacks, like the guy, uh, original guy tanks. I only say that because guy tanks are referred to him as being the current guy lead, he's not a guy lead anymore. So, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, the kid version. I changed it into Super Ghost Boo Boo Volleyball. Now, what I mean by this is a combination of this Boo Boo Volleyball with the 11 key, a Super Saiyan 3, bars by the way, and a combination of a Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. So that means he could turn him into a ball, smack it far away, then throw his ghost at it, and the ghost explode on the Boo Boo Volleyball. That would be sick. That's a, I think that would be a sick idea, you know. Of course, it would be a combo Super Attack and everything. Causes immense damage and massively raises attack for one turn. Sounds familiar, it doesn't. It sounds like it's 11 key, but I implemented that in Gotenks' super attack instead. So it's always going to be a massive raise in attack. And it's going to be immense damage. I may have made this guy stronger than Super Saiyan 4 Goku, you know? Although he only has 120% and a chance to do 140% boost, he massively raises his own attack for one turn. So he's going to get a huge increase. I think I actually made him out damage Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And maybe Gogeta, maybe Gogeta, maybe Gogeta. Now, we went over the stats and stuff. Let's go over his passive and his link skills. Okay, which one do I have? Whatever. So, his highest base stats, not the highest base stats, his overall stats. He, I gave him the, um, I think I have him over Vegeta. Vegeta is at 9,241. He has the highest base overall stats out of all the guy leads in the game. That means you add all the numbers. You add his HP, attack, and defense, and then you divide it by three. Obviously, that's what they come up with on DBZ Space, the average stats. 
the overall average anyway. He has the highest base overall average stats. So he has more stat points than anybody else basically. I wanted to give adult go tanks around that amount, but slightly lower than Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. All right, so that's where I will put him. If you add all these stats and divide it by three, he'll be slightly under Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with the second highest base overall stats of all the guy leads. And what else? His links. I want to give him Fierce Battle, of course, Super Saiyan, a 10% attack boost, definitely. Over in the Flash, because that's a trait Super Saiyan 3 units tend to have. Uh, limit Breaking Form, another trait Super Saiyan 3 units tend to have. And uh, Fuse Fighters, another key link, because that's one of, that's one problem with Super Saiyan 3 characters. They tend to only have only Over in the Flash, and that's it. Other than that, you need a key supporter or somebody else that links with him as well. Like Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku along with Gotenks. They both have over in the Flash. So they'll be fine. You put them next to each other. Golden Warriors. The older key link I believe is like key plus one and like minus 2000 defense to opponent or something. And Saiyan Lineage. Plus one key. It's an older Saiyan link. So he could link with some of the older Saiyan characters if they have the uh, key link. So that's seven key links which is the max. And his passive ability. Check this out. I have an interesting gimmick with them. By him only having one super attack, I gave him at 11 key, he gets a 140% boost at 11 key. But anything other than 11 key, it will be 120% boost. Pretty much the same death blow applies from the previous go takes from his passive. But he has a chance to do more with this 11 key now because he gets 140% attack. Not to mention, he's a stronger guy and gives off a bigger buff. So he's going to do a lot more than the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks previously, the guy lead of tech. So for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, let me, adult Gotenks anyway, let me know what you think about that in the comment box below. I don't think this one could happen. Like I said, it's least likely to happen because of licensing. I know they already have adult Gotenks in the game, but it'd just be a hassle having a god unit as somebody that you have to license as a character. That's strange, you know, but... That's Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Like I said, let me know what you think about him in the comment box below. We're going to the second one. The second one is my personal favorite. This one is my favorite. I have fun making this. By the way, I'm not a GFX artist or anything. This is just fun. Second one is Physical God Vegeta. Now, this character is only in the manga of Dragon Ball Super. Of course, the manga differs from the anime. So, I don't know if they will include manga-only characters in Dokkan Battle. That would be pretty interesting. I really like that concept. And that, let's go over, let's see, Saiyan Pride, Saiyan Prince God, and then Super Saiyan God Vegeta, of course, the first card that will be ever in Dokkan of God Vegeta. I find it, I, I don't know, I just really, really like the idea. I talked about it before, maybe in a stream or something, but I gave him 12,095. HP, I gave him the highest base HP. He tends to have more HP than he does attack generally, most of the time. You know, with a few exceptions with some of the cards. Like uh, Strength God Vegeta, Strength Blue Vegeta, I should say. But anyway, but anyway, I gave him the lowest base attack. But you will see why later on. So this one, obviously, you can tell by the base stats. I may have made him more defensively. But like I said, you will see when I get to the rest of the abilities. First. Defense, 5,997. Like I said, a very high base defense before like putting implementing potential orbs in a guy a very high base defense i gave him the second highest base defense under gotix because he's also another unit who always has a very high base defense he always has more defense than goku he he's, he's generally more defensive than goku most of the vegeta cards are defensive all right you have super saiyan 3 the one that stuns the one that mitigates 80 percent you have agl uh, guy, AGL Blue Vegeta who gets like a 90, I think it's 80% boost in attack and defense. He has a lot of that on his cards. He buff attack and defense. Okay, so obviously super physical type, key plus three, HP attack and defense, 120%. Extreme physical gets 50% in all stats and they only get one key. Is it one key or two key? They get one key. I forgot to mention that on Gotenks card. Super attack, God speed rush down. I guess the combination attack or whatnot that he did on uh, Rose Goku or I think it was Super Saiyan 2 at the time, but no, he was Rose Goku in the manga from when he was transitioning from Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God because he needed that balance and power as in Blue was taking too much energy from him and whatnot. And I think he went to God form to balance it out, the energy or whatnot, but keep his speed and stuff like that. 
which is a very genius idea. That's not going to be Vegeta. Causes immense damage. All right, so causes immense damage. Allies defense 40% for one turn. I have them raise defense rather than attack. As weird as that may sound, you know how Tech Jito raises attack whenever he uses a super attack. Super Vegito does the same thing, boost the team's attack, I think about like 30% for one turn. I gave him boost allies defense for one turn. I put that because Vegito Blue is not really reliable at defending because of his passive only gives him like a 30% uh, buff at defense or something. And that's not really good to mitigate. So he's going to help out Mono Physical as a whole defensively. That's all why I gave him that effect for a super attack, you know, and his link skills this is what I went with. Okay, where's it at? Prepare for battle. I gave him shock and speed. Vegeta generally does not have shock and speed. I wanted to give him something new. Like I said, how he was fighting Rose in the manga at the current time. He showed, I guess, the, the display of speed or something. I don't know. I wanted to give the man shock and speed to definitely help out with a lot of units in physical. Great Saiyan man has it. Ultimate physical Gohan has it. Shock and speed, godly power, obviously. Super Saiyan, 10% boost. Fierce battle, 15% boost. Vegeta family, plus one key for him and like the older Trunks cards and everything. And Warrior Gods. I think it's like 1200 attack or like 2000 attack. I don't remember the exact value. So those are the links I gave him. I think it'll be pretty consistent as far as, well, they have a key supporter anyway. They have, the, actually their key supporter is the Dokkan Bardock. I think he has Fierce Battle. I'm actually looking at that right now. Yeah, he has Fierce Bone. He is their key supporter. All allies, two key. He was previously a key supporter. They just gave him a tank boost in the defense. So that would be good. The buffer of the team is definitely Pan. If you don't have Pan, you can tack him out with the Trunks. You can tack her out with the Trunks. Excuse me. And then you have other attackers as well. Great Saiyan Man, Dokkan version. So you have God Cool, of course, the Dokkan one. He's a key supporter as well as buffing himself. And he has, you know, Pretty much the perfect god links for uh, God Vegeta, so he will be his pretty. He will pretty much be his partner on the second rotation. First rotation, Vegeta Blue will be his partner. You know, so I think that will work out in his. And I gave him the highest base overall stats of all the god leads because why his HP is so massive. I gave him a very low attack and a very high defense. Vegeta tends to have a very high defense, not base defense, but within his passive, he gives us up defense. His passive. Check this out. I find this to be pretty sweet. Similar to Angel Goku, the attack version lead. All right, hundred and twenty percent boost in attack during death blow. So during the super attack, hundred and twenty percent. Yeah, nothing new, right? But additional effect, just like Angel Goku gets a uh, additional. It was like 20, 30 percent per per rainbow orb that he gets. This one per rainbow orb that he gets, he gets an additional. Uh, what was it? Fifty percent defense. And the max is hundred percent. 150%, so the max will be three rainbow orbs for him to have 150% defense. So essentially how this happens is, every turn you expect him to get 120% boost in an attack as well as 150% in defense. That's only towards him of course. So I'm definitely making him the ultimate tank. If anything, I think I just made him the best defensive unit in the game. Uh, well, it's RNG because it depends if he gets the rainbow orbs. Even if he gets two rainbow orbs, he's going to buff his own defense by 40% whenever he super attacks anyway. So, hypothetically, he has 120% during death blow. He gets three rainbow orbs. He gets his super attack off. That's 190% boost in defense, not counting the leader, both leader abilities. So, that's insane. That is insane. I made him the best defensive unit in the game. That's what I'm gearing towards with when I do Vegeta. When I made this Vegeta card, I wanted him to be defensively the best in the game. And without being overpowered, pretty much. So that's my Vegeta card. That's my Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks card. Let me know which one you like better. And let me know what you think about the abilities and stats. And Super Attack, the names, everything that I've done with the God Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 3 Adult Gotenks card. Let me know in the comment box below. Let me know if you guys enjoy these cards. I made both of these myself. And... I had a lot of fun with that. I'm not, I don't normally do this type of thing. I, it just, you know, a new, a new thing, I guess. It was, I don't do card arts or anything like that. It was something new, fresh. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Comment in the comment box below. Let me know which one you like better. Do you think they're broken? Do you think they're not broken? Special being cannon. Key.